All right, hello guys. Uh, I'm going to try to give my impressions of Son of Sun so far. I've read about a hundred pages. First, I'm going to try to use the paint program to show you kind of what the world is like. And I don't know if this is gonna work out or not, but we'll see. All right, no fill. Okay, this is Virga. Virga is a large sphere. It's like 5,000 miles in diameter. And it has zero G and it has uh, breathable air. And you basically, it's in three dimensions, so it's a big sphere. You can go either way. All right. At the middle of Virga is an artificial sun. Okay. The artificial sun is called cadence. All right. And the artificial sun gives warmth out to the rest of uh, Virga. So the sun, oops, the sun does its warmth out to the edges. The further out you go, the colder it gets. Cold. Burr. Okay. Now, um, there are individual nations or cities that rotate around uh, Virga, around Cadence and around in Virga. All right, so we have individual places like this guy here, and let's see, let's make a couple others. All right. That didn't really work out too well. Anyways, uh, these nation states go around uh, in the sphere. Now there's one nation state, it is called uh, Slipstream. And Slipstream is a rather large nation because it is tethered to an asteroid. Now, this asteroid uh, goes around and pretty much interferes with other people. So as they're moving around, they're interfering with like this city state or this nation. And they and Slipstream, these guys here, they're really rich because they go and mine this asteroid and when they come up next to a nation or a city or a town that they don't like they can pretty much do whatever they want to it so at the beginning one of these nation states gets completely obliterated by slipstream and that's the airy civilization and so our main character is from airy and he is trying to um, infiltrate the slipstream individuals to try to assassinate the leader uh, colonel or commander that's in charge of the large army. Now what's interesting about this world is that it's very steampunkish kinda like there's actual boats that float around and they're tethered to like other sections of boats that are tethered to other things and they kind of just float around and then you have like speeders like from Star Wars that you could uh, you know speed off and uh, have fun so yeah it's it's kind of like um, a naval type situation only it's in this three-dimensional sphere and it's very interesting it, it's hard to get your head around it because when you read about it you have to read it taking into account three dimensions and that's what makes it very interesting so far now like I said earlier the further out you are the colder it could be you can actually have your own little Sun like your own little artificial Sun to give you sunlight and that's not cool for these large nations that are pretty much in power and uh, at the beginning 
this guy that got wiped out over here, they had their artificial sun and they got destroyed. They actually turned on their artificial sun to destroy some of the ships that were attacking them. So yeah, that's basically how this is working, uh, very simplistically. <laughs> I probably messed up some of this, but yeah. And boy, does that picture look awful. But anyways, our main character now is on uh, one of these like dreadnought boats, and they are going uh, to attack another country because uh, basically the slipstream nation they want to be in charge they want to protect their asteroid that they live off of mine off of make money off of and so yeah what's cool is also there are large seas of water that just float around you can actually bury into the sea and like create a tunnel into the sea of water because it's just floating in air it's very cool if, if you ever watch like uh like those videos of people in space and they put water in a spaceship and it's just a bubble that floats around that's basically what this is um so it's pretty cool and then there's like glaciers and stuff and, and a bunch of weird things out there in the middle of nowhere but it's all not the most advanced in technology but it but it's so so you know it's not like it's not I wouldn't say it's steampunk but I wouldn't say it's like Star Trek either it's like in between there and all these people they all have been living in Virga their entire life and they don't really go to other places in the galaxy at all so yeah uh, I like it so far it's very interesting the world building is fantastic I really like this concept and uh, the only thing I'm having an issue with is connecting to the characters. The main character, Hayden, the guy that's trying to get revenge, uh, he doesn't really have a whole lot going for him. Um, I need to know more about him, and I hope that him and, uh, I guess, the wife of the commander have a friendship, possibly. But it's interesting. Uh, I'm, it's okay. I'm liking it, but I'm not completely sold on it, so I'm looking forward to reading more. Uh Hopefully you liked this video. It was kind of weird, I know. But, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching.